jump into the duels. So I'm still using heroes. We only have two stages to really jump. From 23 to 25. I'm not expecting anything too, too crazy. It's Like I said, it's the last day. So uh, the qualifiers for the real grand tournaments, so these are the prelims. You have to pass the prelims to get to the qualifiers. Once you're in the qualifiers, you gotta do insanely good there. Oh, we're already ranking them. Gotta do insanely good there to uh, make your way to the real grand tournament. And I'm assuming it's all gonna be online, so it's not gonna be any traveling. It's not gonna be stuff like that, which means it should be pretty interesting. So this is a pretty sick hand. Could get better if we get like a Cosmo Brain or something, but uh, we will soon see. Find Shira Nui. I don't think Pegasus gets level Og. So he's probably running Vendrits or something with it. Some sort of ritual. Especially going the level 7 over the level 6. He's really not doing the level Og stuff. This is probably Vendrits along with him. He's probably going to try to hit our field spell too. But we're really just not afraid of any of that. So we'll be okay. If we get a Cosmo Brain, or even uh, uh, Stratos would be amazing. Lots, lots of stuff we can do here. Very strange play from our opponent. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. So we're obviously not going to be able to use our mass changes after we bust this Neo Fusion on our boy. Hopefully that's not a Karma Cut and that's just a uh, Belisa Squad or something like that. Belisa Squad or Regeki Break. Something real simple like that. <sighs> now, we're clearly going to use Favorite Hero, but what I'm torn on is... Do we want to use our Necro Valley immediately? I think we'll wait for his... Man, I don't know. We're definitely going to set... At least one mass change? I think we'll set two. Yeah, I think we'll set two. Do I want Necro Valley, guys? I do. I think I do. It's so risky because then if he's able to hit our one back row or our one field spell, we're going to be at a disadvantage. But Necro Valley is just so good. It also locks us out of our Koga plays and our Neos Fusion. So it's a really risky move. That's why I'm so torn. But uh, it's, it's paying off well here. So we'll get to search another. Man, do I want a favorite just to get rid of that level 3? Because that level 3 is going to give him plays, especially if he has another 4, he can start popping. I, I am going to use favorite hero. It's kind of an animal play, but since we have so many mass changes, I'm just going to go for it. Let me check my chat, see if anyone's... Okay, we'll call that a turn. Okay, three cards for our boy. Don't hit our Necro Valley. Oh, Luna Lights. So, no... No Crimson Fox can't activate with Necro Valley. Uh, he can make his biggest... I don't think he can make his biggest boy, because you can only have, what, two Luna Lights out there at most? The funny thing is, we do have a hard time getting over a defense position Cat Dancer, so we really need him to put into attack mode right now. Please don't go defense. Whew. He thinks that Crimson Fox will work, but it shouldn't work thanks to Necro Valley. But we'll see right now. Oh, it did work. Good thing we have our mass change. I wonder what that was he said. So he swings into us. He's gonna hit us for just a tick of damage. I'll let the damage tick. Now I will mass change. And our, our Koga boy is gonna be well over her because uh, he owns so many cards right now. So 3,500. That's over the lethal we need. So we can just swing. Really don't know what that back row of his is. I'm gonna save it like this because I don't want to summon the Brave Neos. Ooh, man, I can summon that, though. Okay, I'll just 
is actually really good play now. Because I want the mass change in case we have to uh, come over like this for now. So I'm pretty sure it's a nice easy lethal so far. Yep, not bad. But yeah, this deck literally can't get around a defense position Cat Dancer. So if you put that Cat Dancer in defense, it would have been a nice and slow L for us guys. Oh yeah, you're right, Mike Tonic. Necro Valley stopped the Kyroid, so we could have uh, hit him for lethal. You're right. That back row was a bluff. Whoops. Okay, he's going for the Aroma Garden. Sets so two. Hmm. So usually a pretty uh Pretty mad lad play you can do is if we pull a Neos, we can cause no brain and then bring up the Neos first and then use the Stratos to pop some back row. But uh, I don't think this guy got a very good hand. That's not what we want. We still have some, some combos though. If I had a mass change, I wouldn't get rid of the Stratos, but I don't have a mass change, so we're gonna get rid of the Stratos. Now I think in this situation versus this deck, Necro Valley would hurt me more than help me, so I'm gonna stick like this. Cause he's gonna have an at worst, he has an instance of destruction. At best, he has nothing. No way to heal, no way to do anything. We'll see right now, though, because this is for lethal. So that's when he will have to lose life points to get under me, and then he'll be able to gain life points. I think you can chain them both immediately to each other, too. So he should be able to heal before I get my swing off. Thing is, though, whatever that heal is going to accomplish isn't going to target me, so... He's just gonna get whacked in the face. Best traps in the game right now, and why? Um, best trap, best single trap in the game right now is Fiendish Chain. And that's because Fiendish Chain does everything. It'll stop you from lethal damage. It'll, um... I think we're fighting memes. How do I want to do this? This is gonna let us draw one. Mm. Yeah, Fiendish Chain. Um... It'll stop an attack, it'll stop an effect. That's all you need to do. It stops big monsters, it stops little monsters. I would have been able to use it right here. He wouldn't have been able to uh, search his circle, which I'm certain is probably what he's gonna search. We're going to police the squad. No, we don't want to police the squad the circle. Because we're gonna get a back row pop anyway. So we need him to have a back row out. We'll release the squad the circle and then we'll bring out a diplo to pop a set card. But yeah, Fiendish Chain is easily the best. It's, it's hard to find situations where Fiendish Chain is not the best. Only way it's like you have two normal Dark Magicians swinging at you or something. Other than that, Fiendish Chain is always going to be useful. It's just so strong. So there's the set. There's another set. You know, I might just hit both the back row. Because if it's like two navigation or something, he's gonna really. If he's gonna attack into us, I'm gonna let him swing into us first, real quick. 
by all means. No, he he was like, mm, I'll wait till the end phase. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit both the face down, see if we can end this duel quick. Go both. Yep. What do you have to chain, boy? How did he have a? How do you have an option? What is your option? Yeah, Fiendish Chain targets, and Fiendish Chain also sits on the field, so your opponent can eventually draw into a Cosmic Cyclone and uh, finish it. Oh, look at that, we just hit that Fiendish Chain. Um, he probably should have used that Fiendish Chain. If he would have chained Fiendish Chain to that Diplo, he would have uh, had no problem, but now I'm pretty sure we have Lethal. I haven't done the math, but I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. Some Goku. But we already took out a navigation and uh, all that jazz. So we should be good. Yeah, I don't know why, this Evo's deck is just so much fun. Oh, yep, there's the scoop. It's just too much fun. But uh, if you guys have a different deck you'd rather see, just. Uh, just uh, let me let me know. One second, trying to beat this boy's rank up. We've seen Moja every duel. Have not seen our king. Fought a lot of light swan too. So that was two light swan. There's the boy. Good lord. Did he spell specialist? In it, which means destiny draw, which means we're not going to trigger it. Oh no! Rico! Not Rico! Rico! You gotta banish, banish the big boy. That's all you have. There we go. Okay, okay. Good old Rico. Why didn't he do that last turn? Double summoning. She's a tuner, right? Yeah, there you go. Man, he didn't even have spell specialists. And still, with his 30 cards, got it pumping. actually good though. So now we get to hit him with the equilibrium. Oof. 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 Did we do it? Did we snake one? 
we do it? Did we do it? Man, I'm 50 life points off using my skill too. Can you believe that? Oh! Hold it off, guys.